Let me guess, you found this video in an ultimate attempt to understand how to read Pinterest analytics. I know, I know, Pinterest native analytics are kind of confusing. What do all of these metrics like monthly reach, profile impressions, website clicks mean? So before we get in deep waters with Pinterest analytics, let's make it clear that the only thing that really matters to you is getting traffic to your website. Am I right? So that's my goal in this video. Instead of confusing you even more with explanations of useless metrics in Pinterest analytics, I will only show you what matters for your main objective – free traffic generation. Hi, I'm Anastasia of AnastasiaBlogger.com and I'm the Pinterest marketing expert. You will find from this video the answers to all your burning questions about Pinterest analytics. By the way, since you reached this far in learning Pinterest and you need to understand analytics, you will definitely find a lot of value in my Pinterest SEO checklist. I will give you a link to this guide at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So let me give you a quick overview of what you will learn from this video today. First, I will show you how to get access to Pinterest native analytics tool. Second, I will explain which metrics inside Pinterest native analytics actually matter to you. And then I will show you how to track your Pinterest success in Google Analytics. So how do you get access to Pinterest analytics? First of all, you will need to use a business account on Pinterest to have access to Pinterest analytics. If you're using a personal account right now, you can convert it to a business account and in about a week or so, you will be able to see the first data inside your Pinterest analytics. If you're creating a brand new business account, you just need to follow the first link you see on the screen. So it will be pinterest.com slash business slash create. And if you're making a conversion from a personal to a business account, you will need to use this page pinterest.com slash business slash convert. Once you are inside the business account, just click on the analytics link in the left corner and choose overview to start with. Inside the overview, Pinterest shows you these three metrics, Pinterest uh, profile impressions, people you reach and activity from your domain. Now you hear the word impressions and probably you're wondering what does this metric show you? So I warned you that Pinterest shows a lot of vanity metrics and this is one of them. So who cares how many times people have seen your pins on Pinterest? So what really matters is how many clicks these impressions generated. So I recommend you skip analyzing Pinterest profile and uh, Pinterest reach tabs from here, from this um, overview. And let me tell you why. These are uh, the metrics that show, again, vanity numbers, because look, Pinterest profile. The, uh, this tab shows you how many times the pins you saved were seen, saved and clicked. But this includes all the pins your, your account ever saved, not just the pins from your own website. So everything you do on Pinterest as a content curator, not a content creator, will be also included in your Pinterest profile data. Now let's look at people you reach stats will show you how many people have seen your pins and or acted on your pins in the last 30 days. You can compare under this report your monthly viewers against the monthly engaged audience. But again, this report includes all the third-party pins which are not linked to your site, which you saved from other websites as a content curator, so who cares what this number is. By the way, Pinterest started showing this reach metric in the public profiles on Pinterest in 2018, probably because they wanted to make a shift uh, from our focus on following numbers so that people don't waste so much effort on growing Pinterest followers, because indeed large following on Pinterest does not guarantee you a corresponding amount of traffic. But this same thing actually applies to reach on Pinterest. You will hardly hear this so openly and frankly from people who work as Pinterest marketers because many I know that many of my colleagues may make money managing accounts and they like to show this uh, Pinterest reach metric as it's growing, sometimes it's growing much faster than traffic and they show it as an accomplishment. 
when in fact your reach can be high when you don't even have any single pin linked to your website. Because reach includes all the pins from third-party sites. So again, high reach does not guarantee that your traffic will be high as well. All you really need to focus on Pinterest native analytics is the information inside the tab called activity from your domain. So this tab shows you impressions, saves and clicks for pins linking back to your website um, and they show this data as a daily average. So which metrics should we focus on here? I recommend you look at saves, clicks and original pins. Now, what are saves? Saves shows you how many times pinners across the platform saved your image to their boards. So this metric is an important indicator of whether or not users find your content interesting. Plus the number of saves, more often called repins, is a strong ranking factor on Pinterest. The next one is clicks. So clicks, it's how much traffic you've got from Pinterest to your domain, to your website. I believe it's also one of the user engagement factors in Pinterest SEO algorithm, which affects how your pins are ranking, how they're popular and how much traffic they give you. And the last one is original pins. This is how many times users created unique pins from your website using either your hover save button or maybe Pinterest browser extension uh, or maybe they even manually, some people even manually upload pins when they like them and then and give links to your website. I'm often seeing a strong connection between the number of original pins a post gets and the viral effect on Pinterest. By the way, one note here that pins that, that are created by Tailwind Scheduler on your behalf also go into this number as original pins. Why it's a long story, honestly, um, I do go into detail about original pins versus repins in my Pinterest SEO traffic course. So if you want to dive deep into Pinterest world, check the link to my course in the description of this video. Pinterest also has an interesting report called Audience Insights. I find the data under Audience Insights report quite useful when you need to pitch for sponsored posts, for example, because it shows demographics and interests of your audience on Pinterest. So in demographics, it shows the location, the country and metropolitan, if you're in, uh, looking at the United States data, as well as the language, the gender, devices your audience uses. And what's even better, it shows categories and interests of your audience. For example, in the health category, my audience is mostly interested in diets and nutrition. And then the affinity metric in this report shows how your audience is interested in a particular topic compared to the rest of the Pinterest audience. Now let's have a look at how we can use Google Analytics for tracking Pinterest traffic. I personally use Google Analytics to track my Pinterest success even more often than I use Pinterest native analytics. That's because I mostly care about the traffic Pinterest drive to my blog and not about vanity numbers like Pinterest impressions or Pinterest reach. Now in Google Analytics, Pinterest traffic can be found in different places. First you need to go acquisition, social then network referrals, and then you will find Pinterest, uh, a link to Pinterest. And then when you go inside, you will find the posts which are popular and which are driving traffic from Pinterest to your site. The second way is to go to acquisition and then choose all traffic report and then choose referrals. So you will find here a list of pins of pin URLs, which get more Pinterest traffic. These are viral pins linked to your site. These are not necessarily pins which you saved to your account and you will be surprised to see that most of, not if not all of these viral pins were saved by other Pinterest users either from your website directly or maybe they made repins of your pins but anyway you will see that the majority of viral pins are not your own pins. So that's the way Pinterest works and again 
In my Pinterest SEO Traffic Secrets course, I go into more details about these viral pins and what you can do to help your popular pins drive even more traffic and do it for much longer. Now, I want to make here a nerd alert. I'm a person who is very, very into analytics and sometimes I spend too much time trying to figure out what the ratio of repins versus impressions means and how I should improve pins or anything else. But after doing this for long enough, I can tell you that you're better off spending time creating new pins for Pinterest or creating new content for your website rather than analyzing all of these little details. The only thing I really take into account is the amount of traffic I'm getting from Pinterest to a particular topic or a, a set of topics in my and, and I see I see this in my Google Analytics. So if I see that some posts are getting particularly um, lots of traffic from Pinterest, I will definitely create at least five more posts covering the same topic from different angles so I can get five more chances to succeed on Pinterest with this topic. Whether you need traffic to monetize with ads or with affiliate offers or even with your own products, you first need to get Pinterest users to visit your site. Now, I do remember I promised you the link to my Pinterest SEO checklist, which I use for every single pin to ensure it actually drives me a ton of free traffic. So grab the link to the checklist in the video description and let me know in the comments what questions you still have about Pinterest analytics. If this information helped you, make sure to share it with your friends. Do the thumb up and follow my channel because I specialize on Pinterest marketing and I share the most current tips about this platform every Thursday. I'll see you in the next videos.